Hi, uh, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is uh, what's in the bag. Um, I have too much gear to put in a single bag so I'm going to kind of do this a little bit differently and show you what's, like, what I rotate, what I use and then we'll cut to sticks and then I'll kind of do a quick view of just how the setup looks from somewhere else and close it off. Alright, so anyways, um, this year I bought a couple new sets of pads as if you probably noticed when I've been watching, if you've been watching my videos. They're the Brian Optics, Brian's Optics and the CCM Premiers, uh, Premier 2's. The Vapors are carryover, but new for what's in the bag. Um, so my primary pads, I have two different teams. Um, one is called the Bulldogs, one is called the Tiger, well, they're called the Tigers. Um, the Bulldogs are for the Optics, the Tigers are for the Premiers. I'm thinking about getting new, uh, I'm going to get the new Genetics. I don't know what color yet. I might get them instead of the Premiers because I'm not a huge fan of the Premiers at the moment. But we'll see how that goes. Regardless, so what's in my goalie bag? So I'll start off with the big things. Brian's Optic Pads, a full review of these is coming very shortly. Uh, as you can see, they're attached with the Brian strap. CCM Premier 2s. Um, I really love the designs of both of these. So obviously, I custom ordered them custom. So um, obviously, I like the design. But I just like the very clean look of both of them. I'm really happy how the Premier's turned out. Um, same with the optics. I really wanted the red on the inside of the optics, but I couldn't get it in, in the optics, opti slide. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but the specific material. So I had to go with white. Um, the other ones are the Bauer Vapor 1Xs. They're kind of the alternate pads if I just want to mix it up a bit. Those two should be my primary. Um, so going up from there, I have a bunch of gloves, as you can see, and there's some over here as well. Um, right now, this is kind of my older set right over here, my Bruce Galoff Reactor 6000s. Um, you've probably seen, if you've seen this video before, you've seen these, but these are kind of my backups of backups right now because of my hand injury. Um, the React, the catching gloves, the easiest one to actually wear, so I kind of go with that just when I, because of this injury. Um, all right, so gloves. Up here we have the Premiers, so as you can see them here. Again, full review of the Premiers and Optics is coming very soon. Um, and the one axis, I should say, as well. So I, I got a different matching glove, it, so it doesn't match the pads. Um, the reason being is CCM has a really annoying um, customized or color grouping where if you match it all up, the outside of this glove is orange. So I really like how the inside of the glove and the pads are orange, um, but if I match it perfectly, this whole part of the glove would be orange, and I really wanted the inside to be orange, not the outside, so I kind of made it like that. Um, so we move on to optics. My optics. Are you kidding me? All right, so sorry about that interruption. My cat is really annoying. Um, so next, we get to the optic gloves. I'm a huge fan of this catching glove. Um, it, I'm such a fan of it that when I order the genetics, I'm going to have a hard time between this and the genetic. I'm not sure exactly which route I want to go down. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of that glove. The blocker, I'm not really a huge fan of. Uh, you'll see it in my review. I don't like this side piece. I don't think it holds its spot well enough, so when a puck hits it, it can kind of bend in and go in. Um, there has been a lot of puck marks here, and I find that I really have a hard time closing that hole with this glove. I don't like how this thumb is constructed, and I really hate the boa. Um, I find it doesn't really punch as far as I want it to either. Uh, the Bauer is better for that. So I'm not a huge fan of this glove. I'm happy to use the genetic for the genetic set. Um, so next we have the 1X blocker and the 1X glove. So I did a review on the glove. I'm not going to pull it out. Um, the blocker one I don't have a review on yet uh, simply because I haven't used it enough. I had to do some, I had to fix some things on the inside here so it wouldn't get stuck on the actual stick, so I can't do a review on this one yet, but I love this board. I love how Bauer really does this glove. It's really close to my Reactor 600 or 6000, so I'm a huge fan of that. Um, while it does move a bit, it stays pretty close because of just how this all is. So this is a bit more solid than the Brian's is, um, which is why I like it. I like the curve in it. It is kind of bouncy, even though this is their softer version, but regardless, it's a pretty good glove. Um, I haven't used enough of the CCM blocker to really dive into it yet. Um, so regardless, moving on from that, uh, my knee pads I wear are the Bauer Vapor 1Xs and the Paso. I always say that wrong. I apologize. I also don't really care that much, to be honest. Regardless, I always use the 1Xs now. 
These ones are kind of put to the side, um, just because of the size difference. The 1Xs like fit in the knee blocks much better, they, and the, this doesn't get caught up on all the, um, sorry, the, the wings, the knee wings, sorry, mine goes blank. Even after I wear socks and tape it, it, doesn't, it gets caught up. Where this one does not, it just fits perfect. It holds up really well because of the garter belt. These are one of the best knee pads I've used. I did a review on them. I suggest you check it out. Um, and I suggest other people to get them. Um, so next piece here, I guess, is the skates. So I have true skates. Um, I got blue because I thought it was really ugly. And I tried to get a rainbow color to make it as ugly as possible, but I couldn't. And so I ended up going with blue. Um, I think the, I'll do a full review on these very shortly as well. Um, they've worked for me. That's basically all I'm going to say now. Uh, if you don't fit into other skates, these are a very good option. Um, use a shoehorn. It's the only way I can get my foot into the skate properly, just because of how tight it fits. But that's a good thing because it fits properly. Um, you're going to see a bunch of player equipment here. Just ignore that. Uh, that will come in the player video in the future. Um, so for socks, I have the same Warrior socks I had before they are cut resistant. But I also bought a couple pair of these Verbero, um, I think they're Mercury socks, which are unbelievably comfortable and they're cut resistant as well. So I can get away with a bigger sock for my goalie skates because they fit a little bit better. I don't have to punch the skate out like I do on my player skates. So a really comfy and thick sock there. All right, so that's about it for goalie on here until we go to the jock. So I got the Warrior Ritual uh, X-Pro. I used the original Ritual for a really long time. Did a review on that. Absolutely loved it. Um, just basically bought this. This part's upgraded on the new one. They did some nice changes to it. Because I was such a fan of the original one, I figured I might as well just grab uh, up the updated one and support them because this jock, I, this jock I really think is really, really good. The garter belt for the knee pads, pretty straightforward. So I'll put those back really quick. Um, so next, uh, I guess we'll go to some of the big things. So my chest protector is still my brown. I think it's 2200-2400 mix. Uh, so again, custom made my size. It's the Bobrovsky or Russian spec. So it was NHL legal at the time. They put the new rules in. Um, and it, so it had the segmented floaters, extra padding. This thing's a tank. It's 10 pounds. Um, I had these added on later on, so my suspenders stay put. Uh, so that's about it for that. I love this chest. I've never really got hurt with it. Never really felt anything. Um, the odd shot in, shot in the arm, like, oh, like I could feel it, but it didn't hurt. This is the only chest that has ever really done that for me. I love the built-in neck guard. It, I've been hit multiple times, and this neck guard has saved me, and it always sits right in the same spot. I don't have to tie it. I don't tighten it. I don't have to worry about it. The only thing is it's a little scratchy here, but regardless, it's my my favorite neck guard ever, and this chest piece is one I've been unbelievably happy with, and the one piece of gear I'm not really ever looking to change. I guess you could kind of say that about pants too, but the chest, um, the only other option I look at is Paso, but even that, I don't think it, they will come quite as close as that, and I don't want to drop the money on it. So next, um, these are my pants for my Tiger team, which is the red team for the premieres. They're Ducks Pro Stocks. These are uh, the 12 A's. I did a video comparing these and the new ones before, just show, talking about them. Um, I love these pants. I really, really, really like CCM Pro Sock pants. I've never felt anything in them. They move well. I mean, they're kind of heavy, but they're Pro Sock pants. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, suspenders, if you need suspenders, go to like, a, like outdoor warehouse stuff and buy leather ones. These ones are okay, but they slide around too much. Um, but yeah, so these pants, love them, Pro Socks. These ones are size large. And then we get to my Bulldogs pants, which are Canadians Pro Stocks, and these are Fit 4s. So they're XL width, but large length. Um, so if I went XL on the length, it would be way too big. These ones are kind of ripping at the seams, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I mean, it, it's not great quality, but the Pro Stock is, means they're more protective, and they should be more durable, but clearly they're not in this case for the material. But it's a small thing that I don't really, really worry about that much. Okay, so, uh, next, I guess I use these, these are Bauer, Bauer knee pads, it's like 80 bucks, I paid 30 for them, so my ripped, or came ripped, that's why I got them for so cheap, so I got them sewn on to one of these just knee braces, um, that way it just stays up and holds in place, I rarely use these, I only really use them if I play back to back, like three games in a day, or like three in two days, because the knee pads will kind of, um, compress too much and it'll start hurting on the landing area, which is actually right here. 
So this helps soften that blow a bit, just protect your knees a little bit more, make them more comfortable. Um, so for helmets, so right here I have my uh, Protect Sport custom mold. I think it's a Theodore. Um, so you, I fit my head or did a mold in my head, sent it off. This helmet was made like six or eight months later. Uh, I love this helmet. It is unbelievably light. It's super hard. It's like really, really stiff. It's full Kevlar. Um, I put the graphics just to match my teams. Tiger is a lion. Unicorn for Bulldogs. The reason being is this is the coat of arms of Canada. I didn't really want to get a Bulldog and put it on there. I thought it kind of looked dumb. I stole Niemi's idea for this and my number on the front in the two colors. Um, so yeah, I use the Cheater Cage. I really, really like the Cheater. Um, it gives you a little bit more protection, so sticks and pucks won't spit through, but while also giving you a good view of the ice. It looks kind of goofy, but it works really well for me. Um, and this is my way of how I do Dangler. I think I did a video on that too in my Hackler review, so check that out if you're interested in how, to, how I do my Dangler. It doesn't really move, stays in good shot, or space. And I have the cool sweatbands, I think they're from Monster. Um, but you can get like yoga mats, or yoga towels like this, so I'm not sure about that. Anyways. That's about it. Um, yes, actually, while I'm here, I'll show some other things off. So I had the Bauer 37.5 headband, and this was a stock one that came with Protect Sport. I use it for a little bit, but in my games, by the second period, this was totally drenched and seeping on my eyes. The same thing for the Bauer one. Um, so I needed something with a little more sweat soaking in, hence the monster one. Okay, um, so next we'll, I'll take a dive at my bag. And then we'll kind of look at the sticks after that. And that's about it. So instead of having to reach down all the time and pull stuff out of this, I figured I'd throw it up on this little bench thingy uh, and show what's in my bag here. Um, I was bringing a skate towel or foot towel thing just because I find the rinks aren't really clean and uh, they're never dry. So if I bring this, my feet will be dry. Um, okay, so what we got in here? So I have my kind of little kit of random things. So I have a bunch of skate lace. I have screwdrivers for my helmet. Um, actually, I think I took one of these out, so let's go get it. So yeah, I have screwdrivers for my helmet, so I can screw my helmet together and make sure all the pieces will stay there. I have it in my player stuff too. I have a hand stone for my skates. I have a couple pair of laces. Uh, I have some cut laces too, so I can fix my dangler. Um, my goalie bag here isn't like that, that big. Uh, like there's not a ton of stuff in here. Oh, sorry. Helmet screws um, and helmet clips. So yeah, it does have some, uh, some stuff in there. Also suspender holders, which don't really work with the suspenders I have, but I always had issues with suspenders, so I had those in there too. So just a bit of an emergency kit, nothing huge. Um, this bag doesn't really have any pockets for anything, which in my opinion, I kind of like. Just, I don't really need to put anything in pocket, just throw it in, and that's it. I kind of line everything up in a perfect way to fit stuff so it's not an issue. Um, so for socks, I have my Tiger socks, which are just Orange Pro socks, Serie Accused Crunch socks. I love these, I hate the knit ones, and these ones don't have the stupid Velcro on the top because I use a garter belt, um, so it holds it up much better. And then I have some uh, Windsor Spitfires third jersey socks for the Bulldogs. So that's about it for that. Um, towels, so skate towel. Um, I got this from some charity tournament and it is fantastic. And actually, that one's supposed to go in there. Um, so this, there, here's this one for my goalie bag. Just some towels for skates and just your body afterwards. I have an extra um, suspenders. Again, sometimes there's suspenders issues. It's always better to have some stuff in there in case you lose it. So that's about it. Um, jerseys, I'll kind of show you a little bit peek of my jersey thing. Uh, in a second, just showing you like, kind of what jerseys I, I have that I kind of choose. Alright, so really quickly, just to show off kind of the other rack. Uh, so this is my jersey rack, and you can see the alternate gloves over here. Um, so these are my goalie jerseys, and below are my player jerseys, some miscellaneous socks I don't really worry about. Um, this is my coaching stuff, long pants and jacket, and uh, extra shoulder pads for player. So right here, we got my Bulldog jersey, a couple practice jerseys, my Brisgall off jersey, uh, Flames practice jersey, and the jersey I wear for the Bearhawks in the summer. Um, and down here, again, just player stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, my Tiger jersey, we haven't started seeing yet, so I don't have that one yet. Um, that's about it for this. There's some miscellaneous boxes that don't really hold anything goalie related. 
Um, so that's about it for this. Again, we'll jump really quick to sticks, show off the sticks that I'm using or have, and then uh, that's about it for goalie. All right, so my goalie sticks come in two separate varieties. There's all these right here, which are kind of my broken down ones, um, or the kind of backups to the backups. Um, so the only one I'd really use right now are these three, and it'd go first for the Reebok. Um, but I have the extra six. A bunch of them are broken, like the Fisher one's broken. Um, the Warrior one's basically split on the heel. I don't know why I keep them. I just keep them. Maybe I'll do some projects in the future with broken sticks or something. But anyways, that's those goalie sticks, and I'll quickly go to another spot for my actual goalie sticks, what I use. All right, so these are the uh, sticks that I use as primaries. I did a review on the Warrior, did a review on the Infinity. I'm going to be doing a review on the 2S and the Bauer. I did have to sandpaper the grip off, which I put up, just because it was too sticky, especially with the 1X glove. Um, so I did that on both of these. So you can see that video too. Um, but anyways, so my primary sticks are my CCM and the Bauer. Uh, they're amazing performing and they're crazy lightweight. Um, whenever I'm like in a practice, I'll use either the Warrior, or the Infinity, just so I don't use one of the better sticks. I'm, in my practice, I mean just shinny or not a league game for me, like a lower division call down type thing. Um, so that's about it for that. Oh yeah, one last thing for what's in the bag. Uh, back here is my old Hakka helmet. Um, I was a huge fan of this helmet, put Maltese in it, um, but it was time to get a new one. The cage, I kept going through cages like crazy, and it was super, super heavy. So I decided to buy and kind of spend more money and get a Protex for it. Really happy with that decision. Um, I like the Hakva, but the Protex Sport is just so much nicer, it's so much lighter, it's such a better helmet. Uh, actually, one other thing too, I do have some extra cages, Hakva cage, and extra Protex Sport cage. Never use this one because I like the cheater so much, but it's there. Um, just in case something would happen, I can replace them. So that about sums it up for my what's in the bag goalie here. Um, there'll be a player one too if you care about that stuff. Um, I had a couple people ask for this and just ask where it is. And sorry that I have too much stuff now around my house and I can't really just do it in front of a bag anymore. Um, and sorry for the cat interruption as well. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or message me. Um, I appreciate everyone watching. And please watch all my other stuff. Just, yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, I hate to say this, but remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It helps me get new stuff so I can do reviews on things. Like, uh, goalie, I haven't really got a bunch of stuff, but for player, there's a bunch of gloves and sticks I've gotten because to do reviews on, so I appreciate that. But anyways, thank you very much, and take it easy.